Hey everybody, I hope you can see me well. Um, this lighting is, the sun is just not doing it today. And on top of that, yes, I know I look like crap, but <laughs> I just wanted to update you guys on what's been going on with me. Um, I told you that I did wait an extra week for my last ultrasound with my doctor, and that was on Tuesday. So my husband and I went and um, it's the same results. No type of internal structure. They see in um, no, no yolk sac, just the gestational sac. So I did inform my doctor that um, I wanted to do the DNC because I had one before when I miscarried in March. So it's just something that I feel is best for me because they know exactly what they're getting out. They can guarantee getting out everything and I don't have to worry about leftover tissues and stuff and fighting for my um, HCG level to go all the way down. Because it took me months to get my HCG level at zero after I had my last DNC. So I really don't want to wait for that because if I um, decide to go right back in with another transfer, I want to get things started pretty quickly. So I know that would kind of, you know, hold up time. So I just decided on a DNC. So they... Um, informed me yesterday that I will be going in tomorrow, which is Thursday the 9th, January 9th. So today I cannot have any food or drinks after midnight, um, things of that sort, because I will be going under general anesthesia, which is a plus. Last time when I did my DNC, it was at a different doctor's office that they sent me to. Um, the surgery center that I'm going to is one that I'm familiar with where I do all of my hysteroscopies, my transfers and stuff. So I'm comfortable with them. I'm familiar with them. So that makes me very happy. Um, the last one I did my DNC at, I guess they didn't have things in order with the surgery center to do that at that point in time. So it was, it wasn't, um, I, like I said, I didn't have a good experience. The nurse, the doctor was really nice and he was sweet. But the nurse, his nurse was very rude to me, very insensitive. And I didn't like the doctor's office when I'm calling to get my information. They're like, oh, well, um, we give you birth control too after this. I'm like, well, this wasn't, this is an IVF pregnancy. It's like, shouldn't they correlate that to them? You know what I'm saying? To be more sensitive to the patients coming in. So I'm not, I don't need birth control. This was something I paid to have done and now I have to get it removed. And then the nurse, I was just in there shaking because they only gave me volume. So I was still up doing the procedure. And, of course, I was scared. I was, like, emotional. So I'm in there shaking, like, on the table. And I'm telling her, like, you know, excuse me, I'm sorry, but um, this is very hard for me because this was an IVF pregnancy. And she was just like, I'm just here to do my job. Like, stop talking. I was so pissed. If I wasn't on the medication, she would have got handled and cursed out for real. Because I was, she was so insensitive and rude. I just couldn't believe that. And so I was just like, let me just pray. But um, I'm so glad that I'm under anesthesia so I don't have to be feeling under that pressure and knowing what's going on if they're removing the remainder of my pregnancy. It's kind of hard because I actually cried during the last time when I did it. So, I'm kind of glad that I'm going under anesthesia. That makes me happy. So, I have to be there tomorrow at 8.30. And my husband's going to take me. It shouldn't be that long. I'm pretty sure it's probably be like 30 minutes. Um, and I'm going to just recover. Stay in a bed for the remainder of the day. And just, you know, take it easy. And then I'm going to talk to my doctor about moving forward but I know he's going to want my HCG levels to be back at zero and with them being so high from the jump I don't know how long it's going to take and that's what like works me because I'm going to just be so ready to like start and my HCG levels are still going to be like high as hell I just you know pray that everything goes smooth I don't have any issues um, and just, you know, I'm just covered. I just have to just keep praying because it's an unfortunate situation. I did wait and my gestational sac was no longer growing and no internal structure, nothing showing up in yolk sac. So it sucks, but you know, I'm not going to give up on myself yet. Um, 
it's just a part of life sometimes things work sometimes it doesn't and you just have to be thankful for the opportunities you do have and just move forward the best you can so that's what i'm gonna do so tomorrow i told you guys they don't allow filming in that facility but my husband will probably be filming a little some so you will see me before i go in and when i come out and hopefully everything goes well i can't wait um to talk to you guys to let you know about this update but um, thank you for everybody being so sweet to me comments dms thank you um yes it's a hard time i'm trying to get through it the best i can but you know sometimes that's how things work so it is what it is at this point <clears throat> i'm just hope my surgery is successful and quick so i will see you guys tomorrow and let you know um how i'm feeling and after i talk to my doctor i'm actually going to probably email them today to ask them about moving forward like the steps that way i can kind of pre-plan things out to see what we're going to do yes i will talk to you guys tomorrow okay you guys it is around 8 30 at night and my stomach has been cramping since maybe like around 7 and i'm starting to bleed so i do believe my body is trying to past the remainder of my pregnancy right now itself um, because the cramping is like non-stop um i was this has been the third day actually i've been be bleeding for three days straight but it hasn't been heavy it's been like kind of like a period that's first coming on um so more than a little spotting um nothing like heavy where you need a pad but <sighs> so yeah i'm just glad that my procedure is tomorrow that way they can just quickly remove this and my body can begin to heal from this because um, I really didn't want to pass this at home. Um, yeah, because the cramps are already like, they were a little intense, they kind of subsided right now. So I've just been in the bed. Um, they've been coming on all day, but it's like overnight, as it gets later in the day, it gets stronger and stronger. So I've just been in the bed and I'm just, trying to drink a lot of water and breathe because this is a lot to deal with um, I'm just glad that it's in the morning so at least it's early and I can finally get this done and over with so yeah I just wanted to let you guys know what was going on so um, you will see me tomorrow after my procedure